Hey Virgos, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? Okay. Um, this is your May um, exclusively Virgo. So it's just for the Virgo, which means if you are a cross watcher, you know what to do. Exit. Okay. So <laughs> we discourage cross watching to promote a healthier way of watching tarot reading. So we're gonna be focusing on the Virgo. So there is no switching of roles. We're done with that. So that there is nothing confusing. If it's you, it will really point out to your situation. You do not have to pick, is it them, is that me? No, if it's you, it's you. If it's not, you move to another reader or another video, okay? So that's that. Now, it's the May end. Um, end of May catch up um, for this year. Um, we're gonna look at where you guys uh, have been and then where you're moving forward this year. So it's more of a healthier way of to look back and then, you know, work your way up as we, you know, we face whatever this thing is, okay? So let's see what has been bugging you. In different factors, relationship, finances, home, you know, your creativity, what businesses, you know, like all the, it's a well-rounded reading. That's what, uh, with this one, with exclusive. So let's begin here. I'm excited for the Virgos. Did you guys, uh, um, I think there was an upload for your, I think you guys had, um, no, Tarot After Dark. So check that out. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Justice card. Okay. Ooh, what happened? Sorry guys, there's a timer. Okay. Justice card can be dealing with the law, okay? Um, this can be permits, uh, this can be litigation, this can be processing of uh, legal documents. This is also trying to under, you know, this is trying to open a business if you are, um, you know, establishing an LLC, sole prop proprietorship, you know, this is that one. Um, justice is also a big idea um, about a business transaction and you're claiming victory right there. Um, but there has to be some, uh, you know, not, is that what I call it? Leverage, you know, it's like, okay, this is what I bring on the table and what do you bring? So this is more of a transaction. You could have been very, very busy trying to get all these permits and uh, you know your ducks in a row because you're about to open a business. Now, for others, this is now gonna be the part of your life where you're looking at a connection or if you are married, if it's still working for you. Because this reflects now, you know, filing for divorce, annulment or separation. Um, because of there are things that are not reconcilable, you know, like they call it, right? Irreconcilable differences. That's what um, the justice card is. Okay, like there's just no way that we can work this out anymore. And then the swords of truth will come and slash. It can be a Libra, okay? High Priestess, okay. So, finding out the truth um, in the situation. Now, um, if the high, the high Priestess can be a Taurus or a Pisces, um, for me, that's this card. Um, revelation is what has happened here. High Priestess is someone revealed to you, um, you know, their truth about if they like you, they like you, and if they don't, they don't. That's the High Priestess. Um, no, this is what you got as a message. So, you finally know now. Um, this is also receiving closure. They have spoken uh, spoken their mind. Okay, I know you're gonna say it's like high priestess, isn't it? They keep a secret, but with the first card, it means that everything is out in the open for discussion, and what the discussion brought was victory on your end. So. I don't know if you want it to make it work, then I feel like that's gonna be a victory for you. If you don't want it to work, then it's gonna be a closure. Mm -hmm. So that's that, let's see. The High Priestess also believes in you know divine timing, 
which means that you just lift everything up to the ethers and you, you basically accepted that, well, this is fate. I have to uh, move on from the situation already. Let me just move this, okay? And accept it. Mm -hmm. Queen of Cups. Okay. Queen of Cups with a High Priestess. Um, I feel like after this whole justice being served, um, your mind has been clear. Uh, I feel like it's a moment of relief. Now it can be also like you were, um, you know, for inheritance to the justice card. You know that kind of legal battle. That could have been, and it could have been like you're praying for money to come, and then I feel like this is you sipping your tea of victory. Mm -hmm. It's like reclaiming your power, but not like in a very affirmative way. It's more of like, <laughs> you trusted your intuition, it worked, and then you won. King of Swords. Okay. So it feels that you have read someone's move. Okay. You have read how they will react and they will respond to your action. And then it's like playing chess with this person. You knew what was their next step. And since you know what their next step, you just slice them off right away. Because Queen of Cups and the King of Swords, you outsmarted them and you're sipping your tea. I'm not sure how you outsmart the King of Swords when you're a Queen of Cups. It can be your intuition was on point and you knew that they were hiding something with the High Priestess. And as soon as you found out that this Aquarian was hiding something from you, slice them and dice them. Well, that's what you did. Slice them and dice them. Yep, 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 yep. Can be a concern and also. Mm -hmm. And the moon. So you were part of a connection that has a lot of layers. They were not upfront with things between the two of you. And what's good here, as soon as you find out, you know, this wrapping up with this, you know, half of the year, you didn't allow it to happen anymore. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a question whether to keep it or to you know to you know to stay or to go you had a direction here with the justice if they cross me then i have no option basically to shut down on them the high priestess i know what they did they were not revealing everything to me you know there was the moon Six of Wands. Victory, victory, victory. So that's you. You got what you want. Mm -hmm. You got them where you want the person. I feel like you manage it. Like, I'm just going to ignore you. <laughs> and, then, and that's my victory to you. Okay. And then the Strength card right here. You have overcome the fear of losing them. Mm hmm You've just said it's a like, well, okay. Mm -hmm. At least I know the truth. Yeah. Because you stared at Lion over there. You were not scared. Mm -hmm. You were put down to, like, that's a lot of pressure in the cliff right there. You didn't, you didn't waver down here. Go, you crazy. Okay. For you, it's just like, I've stared, you know, them in the eye. I confronted them. I called them out. I knew they were hiding something. It's even regardless you know about it or you don't, you just basically stand up for yourself here. That I'm not going to be treated like this because it's a strength card. I'm not going to be treated by your coldness. The full card. You won by setting yourself free from a situation that you felt probably that you will never be able to let go. Yep. You've released the burden. 
it's underneath the King of Swords. So there was a lot of hardship here. I feel like it's because they never really revealed their feelings to you. That's where you felt the burden. And the Page of Wands, yep, so that means they were talking to other people, plain and simple. The Moon and the Page of Wands flirting, engaging, and, you know, who knows what else. You know, because the Moon has a shadow, uh, the darker side. So for you, it's not even important to find out. What you have found out is like, finally, I am free from this connection and you're taking a chance on yourself. You're learning to love yourself and you even, the, the full card is also spirituality. Mm -hmm. So you're doing, doing pretty, pretty well. The fool and the queen of cups can be Pisces also. This was you carrying everything for them every time. Uh, do, you know, wearing different hats is what you're good at. And now you realize like, eh, nah, they played you, the moon with the page of wands. They were immature, not ready for, you know, something serious, okay? So before I end this reading, make sure you check in the comments, in the description. I am attending a Sudarshan Kriya Yoga for the very first time. So we got as a code, um, if you want to attend, I'll be there Friday, Saturday, Sunday, next week. So make sure you check it. There's a discount. And in the uh, and then now I'll continue this reading in the extended. We'll see as you take a chance on basically just keeping yourself quiet first. You haven't broke up with them, by the way. You just keep your silence. If you guys were broke apart, you're still keeping your silence. Now, on their end, I don't sense them at all because you're having your victory moment. Thank you very much, Virgo, for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you guys again. Bye.